Hey there everyone, it's Val, and welcome... Well, I guess this is the first time I'm doing sort of an art-only stream. Um, it... Anyway, you can see some of my fabulous test art. I say test because it's an exercise. I did not draw the parakeet. I did, however, paint it. <laughs> so today, what I wanted to do was I have discovered a love for watercoloring, so I decided to order an artist's uh, kit that has a whole bunch of stuff in it that I figure I'm going to need, because this one was done with just uh, one of those little $15 kits. Um, and the, the brush, I've only painted two pictures and the brushes are already losing hairs and everything, so I don't know if I'll paint anything today, but I thought at least I would unbox my new artist kit on camera, as it were, and chat with you guys. So, anyway, I'm gonna put my little guy here safely to the side so he doesn't get, you know, wrecked. I mean, the thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it's not flat, and that's because I didn't have the right tape to tape it down uh, when I was painting it, so it's got that rippling, which you do not want, but now I've got my kit, I've ordered some artist tape so I can tape things down properly. And uh, yeah, we can see how I, see what we've got in our nice little kit. Sanguine Lynx on YouTube, hello, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Oh, uh, thank you very much, I'm glad you like it. Um, I'm very pleased with it actually. Uh, I'm, well, physically I'm feeling a little sick today, but I'm streaming anyway because it's been a month. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I have actually been doing really well. Um, I mean, I have a long, long way to go to get to where I want to be, but I, it's been, I've been seeing amazing progress and I'm just so pleased about that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that like, this is watercolor, but I also used a little bit of, uh, colored pencils to bring out some of the details. Um, like around the eye so that that looked a little better and uh, I think it worked pretty good <laughs> all right sorry let me just uh, put this into the side like I said and you can see my ratty old table service surface uh, this thing is probably over 20 years old so that's why it looks like it's been through the ringer because well it has Oh, thank you, Sanguine Lynx. Yeah, uh, because of the time that we're in, I had to go... I, I got a test yesterday. I'm still waiting the results to make sure I'm not diseased with the current pandemic on in the world. But uh, I highly doubt it because I'm a hermit and I haven't seen anyone for two weeks except my husband. But, you know, got to be a responsible citizen and go get tested. Anyway, let's put the bird aside. And I'm trying to do this so I don't get myself hung up on my... You know what? I'm going to take my headphones off because I don't really need them on right now. And you'll hear my voice coming and going as I go to the box and back. I'll try to make sure I talk louder when I'm uh, further away from the mic. Uh, do let me know if I'm fading out too much and you can't hear me at all. <laughs> oh, get the headphones out of there. Don't need to see the, the headphones. All right. Okay, so this kit... Uh, I'm just going to throw the link in chat in case anybody is curious. Did I... Oh, there. Let's see. Did I shut that? I've got it in the description on the YouTube video as well, but I'm going to throw it up. And it's the... Um... This is what I'm unboxing. And uh, that's not an affiliate link. I get no cash at all. This is just a kit that I bought and I decided to open with you guys so you could see it. Um, this is not like a top line kit. I wanted one that was better than complete crap, but not too expensive because I still don't know if this is going to be a long term thing. Basically, uh, I guess I should, I'll give a little summary about why I'm doing this. Um, I've always wanted to do watercolor painting and uh, just art in general. And I, I did some in university 
many moons ago, 30 years ago. Um, but I never really did much with it. And part of me, part of my upwards trend that has going on uh, mentally right now is uh, because I am looking for ways to rebuild my energy. Things that give me energy instead of drain me of energy. And oh boy, did watercolors push the right buttons. It gave me, it gives me a lot of energy. Like even though, you know, you're drained creatively after, you know, working on something. Um, I still get so much more energy. In fact, it keeps me awake at night thinking about it. It pushes all the right buttons so well. So <laughs> I've had to find ways to put myself sort of down so I can sleep at night. But that that's kind of what I've been exploring personally is ways to rebuild my energy because my energy reserves are, well, they're almost, well, they were almost non-existent until I started working on this about three, four weeks ago. Um, but I've been slowly testing out different activities, cross-stitching, watercoloring, watching documentaries, playing a no-stress game, and just trying to figure out which ones give me energy, which ones give me more energy, which ones are relaxing, which ones, you know, uh, hype me up. And I'm hoping that as I discover the things that uh, rebuild my energy reserves instead of drain them, um, I will start doing those things on camera, on stream, and... Um, basically share share it with you guys um, it, it will include games of course because I lo no stress games do help me rebuild my energy um, but not um, they rebuild it in different ways and I'm still figuring that out it's all all very new to me <laughs> all right let's start with the kit okay so first things looks it comes with what looks like six canvases you can see oh ah you see ah it's going to stay on the back so you can title it artist what medium it was signature and date or for oil or acrylic painting obviously this is a rather large kit because i wanted to try oils and acrylics what wow. sorry my headphones just about went for a stroll Right, so we got six of those, and I'm just uh, checking off the things that I've got from their packing list to make sure everything is in the package like they said it would be. <laughs> so, check. Six. Six of these. I won't open them because I don't want them to get dirty. I don't know how long it'll be before I use them, but uh, it is really nice. I like that they're packaged individually. Um, you know, so it's not like you open one package and they're all now exposed to the air and things. Alright, I have no idea where I'm going to put the stuff to the side that I've looked at. I just... Okay, fine. I'll stick it here for now. Alright. Mysterious little box here. Looks like we're... Oops, I guess I do have to find a new home for that. Well, okay. I guess I'm going to put it on the floor back here. Temporarily, it's a carpet, so it's safe. Anyway, you have a little box. What's in the box? Ooh. It is I think it's the, the the I believe it is find the section. Something to, to store paints in, I think. As well as water. Uh, but let's get this thing out of the packaging. I love getting packages, don't you guys? <laughs> it's a present. All right. Let's see what's... How do you come off? The whole thing come off? Do you... 
turn? Oh, ah, trying to pull the wrong thing off. There you go, that was much easier than I thought. Oh, so I wonder, I wonder what these little angled things are for. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure this is to put the paints that you're using, and then this is your water stir. Yeah, hang on. Gotta go and look at the uh, <laughs> at the actual item on Amazon, and I can figure it out. Uh, where, where's the pictures? I need some photography to help me sort this out. Do they show it down here? Do they... They don't really talk about it there. Okay, fine. It's up... I know it, they talk about it somewhere. Uh, here we are. Multifunctional brush washing basin. Alright. And I suppose in a pinch you could you could use this top. Might go. It's a little dusty or something. Uh, you could use this top uh, to mix paints in as well. I wouldn't... I, I don't see any reason you couldn't use that. And I guess these are angled so you can put the brushes in them at an angle. Nice, nice. We'll ha I'll have to try it out and see how it works. But um, for now, that, that goes down there. Does it sort of... Yeah, it doesn't sit tightly. It just lifts up and off like that. Still, nice little carrying handle certainly looks promising. <laughs> Next. Next, we have three drawing pads. Uh, so this is a drawing pad for sketching. For pencil... Make sure it's on camera. For pencil, charcoal sketching stick, and other dry media. How many pages does it have in it? Does it say? It's, well, if you look at the edge, it's got a fair amount. So it's not a, a super heavy paper. And then we have this one for watercolor. And this is the heavyweight paper. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the edge there, but there's fewer pages in this one than the other, so it looks, looks good. Decent amount of paper. I was, I was expecting, you know, not quite so many pages, so that I'm happy. Acrylic, acid-free neutral, and uh, nice texture and resistant to moisture, moisture bleed through. That sounds nice. <laughs> and then... And look at the edge too. It looks actually it looks a little bit thicker than even the watercolor ones. I have never painted with acrylic or oil before so yeah we'll see what those are in the future and I just want to mark those two things off. Moses. Moses going awry. What do we got here? Um, oh, here we go. Brush washing basin. We got. I forgot to mark that one off, so I'll mark that one off. Eh. No, that's not what I want. I guess it would help if I press the right key. Okay, there we go. Um, we also have. Where did I list the. Oh, there, there's the acrylic pad. The sketching pad. And the watercolor painting pad. Link's Death on Twitch. Hello, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? It has been a while since you've seen me live. I've been streaming about once a month the last while because, uh, well, I've been working on some things. And uh, things are progressing, but... Um, basically, um, yeah, I found out I was suffering from something I did, I thought I was over. Um, autistic burnout sucks, let me tell you. And when it's been affecting you for a long time, like me, for 18 years, it sucks even more. 
But that's why my energy has been slowly draining over time and I've been streaming less and less and less and less. Because I didn't realize that, uh, like a car that had its, uh, tire run out of air, I was running on the rims and it was just, well, the rim was falling apart. All right, so we got a, a big mysterious box here. You can see that. <laughs> you feel that? Yeah, it's... Um, so uh, what I'm doing, and part of the reason I'm unboxing this on camera, is that I am in the process of rediscovering my energy recharging activities that I had, not on purpose, but slowly over time had been removing from my things that I do list and then I you know would have even less energy to do the things that I had to do and I was prioritizing doing things I had to do before things that recharged energy and as a result I just had less and less and less and less and less <laughs> until I had basically none and that was very bad I was in a very bad place when that happened and fortunately I managed to find just the right person to talk to to help me and it has been going fabulously so this I guess I could readjust my camera hang on just a sec here Onto this arm that I've got for the camera, but it, I mean it's better than none. But it only—it's a pain in the ass to relocate all the time. But it's better than not having one at all. So I'm sorry if that's a, at a slight angle, but I don't want to fuss with it. This is basically the primary reason I wanted a kit. I wanted a desktop easel that I could put on the desk right here, and it's got a lovely carrying handle, which is. Well, fake leather, but it, it's soft. You're going to head back to bed? Well, you have a good night's sleep, and thank you very much for stopping by. Um, oops. <sighs> Sorry, get the mic back here. Have a good night, <laughs> Link's death. See you again soon, I hope. All right, so now how do I open this? Ah, it's a, it's a that kind of thing. There we go. Let's turn that around. And it's got, it looks like, different settings. So you can have it like this, or sometimes you can have it flat, which I will. I might have it flat sometimes. Because with watercolors, I guess. I'm still learning, uh, obviously, like a, a raw beginner at it. And I'm still not sure with uh, watercolor whether you should be painting it at an angle all the time because, you know, of course the water will tend to run downwards or is it better to paint it on the flat or does it depend on what you're working on? I, I don't know. I just have to play with that. So this doesn't, this bends down just that much. Um, but I have a lovely piece of wood. my husband made for me and sanded that I can tape the paper to. So now I've got the proper artist tape for watercolor. You have to tape all around the edges. It's supposed to stop the wrinkling. We'll see. I might have to prepare the paper first. I guess some people like to soak the paper and I guess they put some kind of glue in the paper that you. some people like to soak out. So I, I don't know about that. I haven't done it. <laughs> All right, catching up on chat. Matt on YouTube. Hello, welcome to the stream. How you been doing? It has been a really long time. You got to get some sleep. Well, you have a good night's sleep, and you know if you feel like it, you can watch a stream tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll see you next time I stream. 
with luck, as I rebuild my energy, I will be doing this more frequently. Right now, I'm still rebuilding the energy I need, basically, to do day-to-day -day life stuff. Um, and I, But I did say that I would try to stream at least once a month uh, until I get my uh, energy level back up to something that's sustainable. Um, but ideally, if I can find things that rebuild my energy while I'm streaming, then streaming will not be an energy drain. Um, or at least, at worst case... Hopefully I'll, I'll be creating as much energy as the streaming is draining, so I'll end up with a net of I'm not drained after streaming. And that would mean once I achieve that goal, then I could... Well, I don't know if I can go right back to my old schedule of six days a week, six hours a day, but certainly I can look at streaming a lot more frequently um, than before. Anyway, so we're still looking at this. I thought there was a drawer in it. There is a drawer in it. If you look on this edge, there, there's another little flangey little thingy. Oh, there's one on the other side too, right there. Well, there's the drawer, and I'm going to move the camera so you can see the drawer. Very nice. You know, so if you if if I decide I want to go out and paint something in nature, I got my I can throw some brushes in here. Uh, I think I'd have to have a little paint thing to fit in there, otherwise, uh, you know, because if you just want to carry this around and not too much else. Very nice. I like that. One of your kids used to paint watercolor and use an easel upright, not flat. Okay. Well, that's that's good to know because, you know, I didn't have any choice for my first two that I did uh, before I got this kit. Uh, I had to paint them flat, and I didn't really like the way it was pooling on the paper. I know that you, you shouldn't put too much water on um, because then it will pool. So I was probably using too much water, but... Uh, so the only thing that I'm not too sure about is this little thing that I, I wish there was some kind of like little hinge or something you could like just hook here to, to keep it flat so it's not flapping around. But it looks like it's going to be able to flap around as you walk around with it. That's something to bear in mind. But overall, uh, for the price of the whole set, I, I'm quite happy with this 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 guy. Very nice. Next. This one's going to be a little tougher to show on the camera. I'm going to have to probably move the camera out a little bit so you get to see my pudgy self. <clears throat> Another issue I'm working on, but I'm more working on the energy first. Then we'll work, work on the removing more pudge issue. But this is what sold me on this kit particularly because I did want the desktop easel but this gives me a field easel too and it was the only kit I saw for around that price range that actually gave you a field easel kit so I have no idea how this goes together <laughs> okay so um, is there some kind of ah there we go found it ah so, hmm, I have a feeling this goes on there in some fashion. So let's get this out of the, the, the plastic bag. I mean, it's not the heaviest, uh, you know, they're fairly flimsy, but they're also light. And I mean, it's not like you're going to be sitting on it or anything. Interesting. Anyway, let's see if we can get this this set up. Can you come out? How do you come out? You have a 
Yeah, you do. But what does it do? <laughs> What's this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, so does this open in the bottom? Oh, it's got a little leg in here too. So you've got actually... Wow, it, it, it goes pretty... I think... Yeah, I think this is about three quarters my height. <laughs> if, I, if I do it out all the way, but you won't be able to see it if I do it all the way. English. If I do it out all the way. So for now, we'll just do them out. Uh, the, the upper one out. About the same same width so we can hopefully set it up. And I'm sure you do something. Let's see if we can get this to... Yeah, could could you like? Do you want them all? Should they all be the same length? I suppose. Yeah, there. Okay, so that's an interesting way of doing it. These little hinges to set it to the height you want, and then you set it like so, I guess. And then ah ah yeah, that's the back part. And it's got the little, oops, I got it out of camera, but it's got that little hinge on the top too to set it for the height you want. And then it's got a little thingy here to hold your picture in, I guess in case the wind gust catches it. Whoops. Ah, I bet you that this is to hold that part. Yes, yes it is. So you got this little thingy down here. And do you go on here somehow? I mean... You, you figure... I don't think it would tie on. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh! Oh. I see. Said the blind person. There. Well, come on, you just came out of there. You have to go back in. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to, trying to get this in and letting you guys see what I'm doing at the same time. And it's jockeying these things. Oh, come on, you came out of there. Oh, maybe I have to angle you like, ah, maybe. Ugh. Does not want to go back in. Ah, wait. Apparently... You have to give up first, and then it says, okay, I guess I'll work. Okay. So. Could you... Okay, so it doesn't necessarily easily go in and out. But then, put that up. Put that flap down. Put that thingy down. You've got your place to put your the bottom of your thing, your your picture, and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I have, have to try it out. It definitely looks usable. I mean, like I said, I don't think you could sit on it, but then you're not supposed to be sitting on it, you're supposed to be painting on it. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to set it aside. I'll take it apart later because otherwise it'll take me 20 minutes to undo it. And I think you'd rather see more stuff from the box. Oh, goodness. Alrighty. Next. Oh, let's re redo the camera. Back to the desktop. And the paper. Then I'll make vanish. Alright. Next, we have an artist's palette. And I'll let you guys stare at that for a moment while I, I take the two easels off the list because we got we looked at them. Uh, an adjustable field easel. The the field easel we were just looking at it adjusts from 21 inches to 66 inches. I'm assuming that's the total height of it because. Um, I'm only 62 inches, so it actually will go taller than I am. <laughs> the 
it's an artist palette. It's made out of plastic. It's not the most expensive looking thing in the world, but it's light and it lets you hold it. And since it's so light, it, it you know won't weigh your hand down, make your hand tired. At least not as easy. There, there's some dirt on it. I don't like that. A little bit of, I don't know, oil or something came right off. Whatever it was. It's, if I suddenly keel over, you'll know it was poison, but I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> so yeah, this is another part of the reason I wanted a kit is like I needed better brushes. I needed a, a proper palette to put things on because uh, the little tiny one I had that only had four com uh, compartments was just not big enough. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to using this as well. Plus, the lid of that other thing actually gives us that those other spots too, so we have lots of places for, to put color, um, which is one of the things I wanted. Fantastic. Next. Next, we have the cheat sheet, <laughs> the color wheel. It's a pocket color wheel. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's got some, I'm trying to hope so you guys can see it. So you can see if you're adding red to green, you're going to get that color. Um, if you have blue green and you're adding yellow, you're going to get that color. So that's nice. If you... I, I kind of needed that because I'm, I'm used to color cra uh, coloring pencils, but um, water colors, because you mix them together um, to get different colors uh, instead of like with pencil cranes laying them on top of each other. I mean, you can layer the watercolor too, which is why it excites me so much because it uh, uses some of the expertise that I've gained with well, expertise. I'm a beginner, you know. Less, uh, but I do okay at, at, at uh, shading and coloring and, and layering with pencil crayons. So, yeah, I, I actually really wanted this. So it looks like, what is this on the back here? Can't see. Uh, oh, just uh, how to use it, whatnot. But that was a very nice addition to it. Let's bring it up a little closer. There you can see it. Free. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this a lot. <laughs> All right. Uh, I should be crossing things off when I do them. Uh, but a couple at a time is better. Paint palette. Let's mark that off. And we have a color wheel. Mark that off. Right. So, what's in the box? No idea. Let's find out. Ah! I don't know what it is. something that requires construction. Let me get rid of the box. This, I believe, is the brush organizer. And I think this is intended for you to use permanently. And it looks like the fat end goes here. Because the thin end is too small, or, yeah, it's too small to fit in there. It has to be the, will it go together? Maybe it goes into a special here. It hasn't got any, you know, big flanges sticking out or anything that seem to be stopping it, so I'm not sh Ah, okay. Ugh, that one's in. Try this one. In, in, thank you. Now we just have the troublemaker over here to get in. There we go. Now I'll have the same issue on this side. Oh, or not. That's on securely. Yeah, yeah, it seems pretty, pretty sturdy. And uh, yeah, I look forward to making messes with that. Awesome. Okay, 
just gonna leave that for a moment. I'm gonna see if I can find the brushes, and then we can try them in the brush organizer. Alrighty. We have got... This is so big it won't fit all in the camera at the same time. Long, long handled brushes, I assume. You know, so you can look uh, suitably artistic and have it stuck behind your ear. I'm not sure what that little piece is. Oh, it must have... Yeah, it fell off one of the brush tips. For use with watercolor paints and something else. Let's see if I can... Acrylic. Acrylic? Yeah, acrylic, oil, and watercolor. So these work for all of them. The Ohu Collection. Synthetic brush set. Well, let's pick this one out. Try not to lose those little tops. Damn it. There's one of them. Damn it. There's the other one. They have little numbers on them. Yes, they do. You can see the little numbers. They're maybe too small. It's right above my finger. That one says two. Eight. No, six. Ten. Wait, let's see. Ten. Twelve. Eight. And a four. This one looks a little munged. Well, but the main bristles seem okay, so this might have to see if those, once it's wet, if they'll go back on. So I'm just gonna see if I can... Slip, slip this on. Out. Ah! So that's the purpose of the little holes down here is to help them stay upright. Nice! Alright, well, I'm just gonna fix this one too. Whoops. Now, not knowing much about brushes, all I can say is that they feel nice. <laughs> <laughs> they um, they look like they're well set in their home. But oh, what's that on the horizon? Why, it's a wild host. Awesome. Yeah. Eba. Not sure if you're in the cha chat anywhere. Thank you very much for the host. I greatly appreciate that. I just barely heard that through my headphones since I'm not currently wearing them. But I was like, hey, there's something happening. <laughs> Something's going on. Kiba on Twitch, hello! Welcome to the stream! Yes, thank you so much for the host. I greatly appreciate that. How have you been doing? Just putting these back in the thing. Because until I learn which are which, um, I don't want to mix up the ones. Because some of them might be for only certain things. I don't know. Like I said, newbie. Maybe all brushes can be used ah, in all things. Or maybe they can't. I don't, don't know. Obviously, they won't be stored here. These will be stored elsewhere. But uh, probably... Not in the brush organizer, because that's where the cats will be eating them. Um, <laughs> uh, what I'll probably use this for is when I'm actually painting, I'll get out the selection of brushes that I think I'll need, and I'll set them in this um, to use. But the actual storage is a tall coffee can that cats cannot get into, in theory. They're wily creatures. They might find a way. You're doing good, Kiba? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. 
Okay, so this is the second set of brushes. There's synthetic hair white Taclon used with acrylic watercolor and tempura. See, this one doesn't say oil, so there are ones that you use for certain things. So I think I'll just leave... Well, no. I want to I wanna feel the brush. I want to see what it feels like. I mean, it's just... It's a brush, but, you know... Oops, sorry. I keep bringing it to myself to open it, forgetting that I'm supposed to be doing this on camera. Well, they don't feel as soft as the first ones. They feel... Not stiff, but a bit firmer. But that might... Once they're wet, they might feel different. But... So that's... That's a second set of paint. Or, or brushes. According to my watch, I've been sitting... Sitting still too long. Lies! I've stood up several times. And last but not least, 12-piece nylon hair art paintbrush. And they don't give really any instructions on which one that they're used for. My guess is any of them. <laughs> yeah, just... There's, they got some... Oh, half sizes. Three eighths. Different shapes. The fan shape. The wedge shape. Oh, look at that one. It's got... It looks almost like a saw blade, kind of. That one would make some neat stripey patterns. Or, or, ooh. Very excited about using those. I gotta feel them, too. They feel like... Ooh. They feel... Even... Not super soft, but uh, I'd say slightly softer than the first one. Just a bit. But it's the they have interesting sizing on them. Three eighths. So these two are the same size. One's a angle, and the other, one, and then that the saw one. I'm sure they all have official names, and people who know the names would probably look at this and say, "Yeah, she knows nothing," and they would be correct. I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to learn. And this is the set I got to help me do it. So, yeah, I will have lots and lots of paintbrushes now. <laughs> Alright, so let's mark those things off the list. Uh, we got the brush organizer. And we got... The paint brushes, 12 nylon hair ones. And so the 12 nylon hair, uh, uh, the oil painting brush, got them. Oops. And then there is the third pack of the brushes. Did I get a bonus? I'm not seeing it on the list, the third one. The the one with the lesser set. Well, maybe I'll see it in a bit, but maybe that was an extra one. We'll find out. Anyway, we now have this thing to look at. I'm gonna put these these two parts away. Now this, I do believe, is the roll-up kit. Nice little doodad on the end. It says, uh, Elizabeth the second D. Well, it's probably the standard thing they put on coins. It, it's a fake coin, basically, because it's got a little ship on the other side. More brushes! <laughs> oh! Oh my lord! So this is. <laughs> A roll-up paint brushes holder, which apparently comes with brushes. 
more brushes. They feel, out of all of these, these are the stiffest ones. And it looks like a palette knife. Very nice. Let's get that out of the package. Phoenix out of the way. Nice smooth handle. It's a number two, apparently. Awesome. Just slip that puppy in there. So that would go with my... If I decide to go down the field and I have a wrap-up field kit. That's good. I'm not sure if... Do these brushes even tell us what they're for? This one looks a little... A little mean. No, it just says Artist Brush. I don't know if you can read it. It says number two. Artist Brush, that particular one. Hmm. The only thing... And now, the, it, I have not had one of these before, so I don't know how these are normally. But it would have been nice if they were little sort of dividers. Uh, so that they don't get all bunged together like this, but... Maybe it's normal for them to be like this. This is my first kit ever, so I don't know. I do like it. And like I said before, for the price, I keep bringing this to myself when I'm folding things. Sorry about that. Eventually, I'll get used to this. So imagine you just slip this under here to... to and that's probably what the little doohickey on the end is. Something gives you something to push through. And that would hold it together. Very nice. Rid of the trash. More brushes. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I think I'll save these ones for last. That's the most exciting bit. Also in this kit. We get two canvases for oil or acrylic painting, a large one. So we had the six smaller ones and two larger ones. What size are they? Does it say? Oh, look at that! I even know what those are! <laughs> you see these little things here? The little, little holes? I don't know. Hopefully you can see them. These are... Oh, what the heck do they call them? You put them in the holes and you tap them gently to expand the canvas uh, to uh, tighten it on the frame. And my brain is not supplying the word for them. But that's what they're for. You put one this way. Oh, you can't see my finger and point. You put one this way and one this way. And you tap them in gently with you know a little hammer or something. And you do that in all four corners. And that lets you... Uh, Make, make sure your canvas is stretched when you're mounting it. And so basically it comes with a built-in um, stretcher. See, I, I, at least I remember this is the stretcher. <laughs> this wood here. So that is really cool. I like that. So let's see if two of those. Yeah, two stretched canvases indeed. And what the heck is those, those little wood things called? Dang it. I can't remember. Uh, one roll up paint brushes holder. Maybe mark that one off. Hmm. There might be something missing out of this. Is one carrying case with a shoulder strap. Oh, that's, that has to be for the field easel. I'm going to put down there field easel. Because we did have that. And let me see if it has a carrying strap. Yes. Yes, it does. So that has to be what they're talking about. They just put the field easel inside it. Okay, good. Not missing. All right. And... Now we are down to 
the exciting part. Well, it's all exciting, but this is the colorful part. The toys. <laughs> <laughs> so here we've got acrylic paint. I have never done anything in acrylic ever in my life. So this is going to be fun the first time I try it and find out if it uh, is like watercolor and pushes all the right buttons. <laughs> uh, and if it does, I'll certainly be doing some of it on stream. And then we have the watercolor paints um, in the tubes. I wonder, would they fit in... Nope, those little holes around the edge of this thing. The water storage, they're obviously intended for brushes. I guess if you're out, um, out, out on the field, you, you know, just put your water in there and put the brushes around there if you're drying them or something. I don't know. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I like the tubes better than the pads, the color pads. Uh -huh, I'll have to see. I kind of uh, like with the color pads, I feel like I'm wasting less. But who knows? Maybe I'll come to love the tubes. <laughs> Trinity, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? And it has been a while. I've been streaming about once a month uh, due to energy issues. What am I? What am I asking about? Oh, I'm I'm just talking and, and rambling on about watercolors, and I'm opening this kit that I got. Um, and it, I don't know how to pronounce this, but oh, hoo hoo is what I'll say it's pronounced. Um, and this is the last thing that it, these these paints are the last things for me to show you guys. Uh, and then of course we have the oil paints, uh, which I have also never done before in my life ever. So that, that's going to be interesting as well. At least i got some canvases to, to play with. Um, so let me just... Uh, oh, there, there's those that brush pack that I said I... Yeah, I'm going to have to double check that. Maybe they list them twice. Anyway. And yes, yeah, so we've got the, the paints. And yeah, we got the all the paint brushes. Yeah, painting knife. Yeah, everything that is supposed to be in the kit was in the kit. Right. So what I was talking about a little earlier was that, um, and, and I tweeted about this. Uh, I think it was about three weeks ago, maybe a month. Uh, and I said that for the time being, I probably would only be streaming about once a month. Um, and the reason for that is that um, I, 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 I'm now seeing a, uh, a psychologist for counseling. And uh, I have tried this before in the past and it just never worked out for various reasons. Uh, the person I'm seeing now, however, we click and it... I I have been making so much progress in the last month, uh, you would not believe it. Um, I was in a really bad place um, because I had absolutely zero mental energy to do anything and even getting up and brushing my teeth. It wasn't depression. It's just that I... I it, everything was an insurmountable obstacle and it would take me hours uh, just to get my teeth brushed and um, look after the litter box and, you know, just the normal little things you need to do. Um, just the thought of having to make a sandwich for lunch was overwhelming. And that's something that over the last 18 years, I've been slowly getting worse and worse and worse and worse in, in terms of how much mental energy I had available. It was diminishing all the time and that's why when I started streaming I was streaming six days a week six hours a day and I did that for about three years and then I made the mistake of trying to basically um, 
what I saw a friend doing and was succeeding at with their stream, um, I thought, you know, well, uh, I, I know that's going to be difficult, but I'll try doing it. And I tried that for three months and I almost burnt myself out on stream. But I think what I also did was I also burnt out my energy reserves and I just never got them back. Because the job that I've mentioned before in my streams about 18 years ago um, completed the task that previous autistic burnouts hadn't. And that was put me in a state of constant autistic burnout. Uh, it's kind of like professional burnout, except it applies to everything because when you're so used to having to mask yourself and always be someone you're not, because if you be yourself, um, you get negative feedback. It's, it's like being an actor 24 seven and you very, very seldom ever get a break from it. And, um, uh, yeah, that last job burnt me out and I thought I was getting, I was over it. I thought it was a thing in the past, but I have, as I, I said in my tweet thread, I've come to realize I, I've been basically the walking wounded for the last 18 years because I've never recovered from that autistic burnout. I've just been, you know, limping along on a, a crutch and the crutch finally snapped <laughs> and I... I, like I said, I was in a bad place and I, I really needed to find the right help and thank God I did. I found the right person and right now what I'm working on is finding the activities that rebuild my energy because over time, because of life telling me I had to do certain things, uh, you know, you have to do the laundry, you have to do the dishes, you, and as my energy reserves were diminishing, you have to make supper, and I was trying to still do all those things, I had nothing left over for streaming. Um, I had nothing left over for preparing to stream, I, I, and then over time, I wasn't, didn't even have enough to keep those things, you know, up to way they should be. And, uh, yeah, uh, without realizing it, I because I, I had that mental image that I had to do the, these things or I sucked, you know, as a terrible uh, wife if I didn't keep up on these activities. My husband never said anything like that, just to make that clear. This is all internal. This is all messages I absorbed as a child. Um, I just kept uh, putting, not doing the things that I enjoy because it's like, well, I have to do these other things first. Well, by putting off and not doing the things I enjoy, I inadvertently stop doing all the things that rebuild my energy reserves. Um, so I was basically running on gas fumes for the, <laughs> the last couple of years. And that's why it was just getting worse and worse. And I couldn't, I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm resting all the time. Why is nothing getting better? Well, Val, nothing's getting better because you weren't doing anything to recharge your mental energy. But this last month, particularly the last three weeks, I have been doing that. And I've been exploring different things. And one of them is watercolors. And that's why I bought the kit. <laughs> because I'm going to do more of this stuff. And I want to try oil paint and acrylics. And I'll be doing some of it on stream. Doing art, arting around streams with you guys. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But I still have, to, I'm still in the process of rebuilding my basic energy reserves um, so I won't be, I still don't know when I'll be resuming more frequent streaming, but it will be as soon as I think I can do it. And part of what I'm exploring right now is I, um, will probably be doing streaming, uh, when I feel up to it, uh, I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks and I'm going to try to start a stream with doing something that recharges me like a watercolor painting does recharge me so I might do that first and then go on to a game and see how that works um, but it's all I have to try it all out and I have to figure out what works for me and then it I, I do not want to stop streaming I will be continuing streaming no doubt about that it's just that I'm going to be changing things up a bit so it's sustainable for me so I can continue streaming <laughs> um, okay, so I'm catching up on chat now. Now I finished that monologue. 
Oil takes longer to dry, yes. And make sure you have an oil-soluble cleaner. Learned the hard way. <laughs> that, that's a good point, Sangwin Lynx. Um, yeah, I will definitely be doing some reading up on oil before I actually try it the first time. Make sure, like you said, I have an oil-soluble cleaner. Um, anything, the special things that I need before I get myself into too much trouble. And acrylics might have uh, similar issues. Okay, boy. Hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Nice to see you again. And Sangwin, thank you. Yes, um, I am so glad <laughs> too that I found someone I can uh, I can talk to who uh, my um, psychotherapist or psychologist. She is also neurodivergent, um, which I had kind of guessed, <laughs> but she confirmed that she was, and I think that's why we connect so well. Um, yeah, it's just. Every time uh, I have a, a counseling session, I learn new things, and I'm discovering new things in between as well, and it's just, yeah, i, I very excited about it all. <laughs> Ducky boy, uh, physically I'm not doing so good today, I think I'm fighting off a bug, yes I've got my COVID test to make sure it's not COVID. I don't think it is because I'm a hermit and I've pretty much been in the house and, uh, uh, the last two weeks. I haven't gone anywhere. But, you know, responsible citizen need to, to get tested, so I, I got myself tested. Um, but mentally I am doing much better. I'm still not anywhere back to approaching normal, but I'm making progress, which is fantastic because for so long it was just a slow slope of degradation going to, you know, oblivion, it, oblivion at the end. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, I do not want to go there. Um, I, I want to live, damn it. Yes, I said damn it. And I'm going to say it again. <laughs> um, it, uh, yeah, it's been an interesting journey. And in a way, I'm kind of looking forward to meeting my real self because I've been masking all my life. There's things that I, I realize that are masking, but because when I stop doing them, they're such a relief. And that's part of the reason that I doubt I'll ever show my face on camera because I'm just too self-conscious. That may change. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe one day I'll be brave enough and feel that I've got enough mental armor that I won't care at the rude comments I'll undoubtedly get. Not from you guys but from trolls because, you know, I don't wear makeup. I wear glasses. I'm middle-aged. I'm going gray. <laughs> um, I'm a little overweight. You know, all the things that they like to attack people about because, you know, well, to be honest, even if, you, even if I look like a movie star and was in perfect shape and, you know, you know, could break hearts with a single glance, uh, they would still find something to attack but when they can't trolls can't see my face at all you know it gives them less ammunition anyway that that's the reason that i i have never shown my faces because i'm just too self-conscious um because i uh, i know it's traditional for women to wear wear makeup and i i just don't i don't like it on my face um i mean i like the way it looks when i first put it on but then i've got um then it, I've got oily skin, so then it starts to run, and then it looks terrible, and then it feels icky, and yeah, I I don't wear makeup. I haven't worn makeup for many, many years. But, catching up on chat? You have to make, for an oil painting, you have to make the canvas very wet. Maybe with an oil-based paint or something. Hmm. Well, in that case, you possibly know more than I do, because I know absolutely zero <laughs> about oil painting. Um, that's a future project. Um, like I said, the watercolor paint, I do know I like. So, let's see what time it is. I've been streaming for an hour. I think I will save opening up these and starting to muck around with the paints for another stream. 
because I, I am actually starting to feel a bit tired now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I'm really happy to have you all stop by to visit me. It it really makes... It warms my heart that it seems like it doesn't matter when I stream. There's always at least someone that shows up to say hi and check in on me and watch for a, a while or f for the whole stream. So I love you guys. You are awesome. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. And I hope we can do some more arting around together in the future. And of course playing games, role-playing, telling stories, because all of those bring me joy, just like you guys do. You guys have a wonderful, uh, I guess not the weekend now, have a wonderful Monday, and I'll see you again, well, in a month, worst case, if things go really well, then sooner than that. Y'all take care, I'll see you later. Bye! got to find my outro stuff again. There it is. <laughs> ah. Friends. Hang on. got to remember all the things I do when I only do it once a month. I, I kind of forget. And... Yes, okay, that worked. Good. Excellent. Okay, see you later, guys. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons. You keep me streaming and multicasting. At the $30 level, I'd like to thank Texcub SF. At the $5 level, I'd like to thank Greater Raider. Want to become a patron? Go to patreon.com slash Val's Noisy Toys. Do you want to play with me? Support me at the $5 level or higher, and you'll be invited to the end of the month Val's Noisy Toys patron games. And once again, thanks so much to my patrons. Thank you.